Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. I'm here with my sister. She's back. Hello. She was here on Tuesday. Tuesday we went to the bins. If you missed that video, we'll put it up here and you can go back and watch it. But watch this one first because <laughs> we're at the retail side of the Goodwill in Akron <clears throat> on this day, which was yesterday. 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 But you'll be seeing this in a week. <laughs> so we had a good time. We found some great stuff on the retail side. A um, couple of things that made it worth going. So can't wait to show you. But before we do all that, let's, let's go, go shopping. shopping. <laughs> Today we're shopping on the retail side of the Goodwill in Akron, 507 East Waterloo Road. The colors on there are gorgeous. That's a cool clock. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is an Avon bottle. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Little teapot trivet. What'd you find? Piece of pottery. It's a birdhouse. It's gorgeous. It's a little tiny birdhouse. So the keyhole for hanging it is back there and it is signed. And the colors are everything. Everything. The color is everything. The colors are <laughs> meant to be in my collection. <laughs> so super cute. It's signed. It might be a K. Eric Eric Hertz, I think I figured. Eric Hertz. Oh, H E R T Z. <clears throat> H E R T Z. Eric Thank you, Hertz. Eric. I love your birdhouse. It's very cute. She won't be using it for a birdhouse though. It'll probably just go up in her collection. Yes. Should I hang it on the wall though? Yes. Like a birdhouse. I would hang it on the wall. I would. What are these? Oh my gosh, those are haul. That's where they are. A dollar a piece. They're a dollar a piece. This has got a little bit of a a chip. It does? Um, yeah, I could feel it. I can't see it. How do the rest look? Yeah, that has a little chip on the bottom. This one's good. That one has a little chippy chip. What one does this that one? That one, I'm bummed. All right, let me see the... That one's good. So maybe I just get the two perfect ones. Are they and for your collection? Yes. And that's a little... Sugar. I'll leave the two imperfect ones and I don't have these. Cindy was ahead of me down the aisle because she went running through the store looking for pottery so I so she could find the pottery first. You still found stuff that I didn't see. <laughs> but is it not true that you it went running true. ahead to look for pottery? It is kind of true. Yes, it's very true. It's I watched true. her do it. But she found some great pottery. These are hall pottery. These are what I actually collect, and I do not have the footed, I would call these like <clears throat> Irish coffee cups. They are handled, oh, footed. Oh, we were supposed to put Bailey's in there yesterday. We I know, didn't. we were. We were supposed to test them out with some Irish coffee, put some Bailey's in there. They were a dollar a piece. I just grabbed the two because they're going into my collection. So if I'm going to have them, I might also have the perfect ones. And if I find a couple more, I'll get a couple more, but I wasn't looking for these. I didn't intend to like put these in the collection, but I could not pass up two beautiful hall pottery pieces that I can add. So thank you for finding those. You're welcome. First thing I grabbed when I hit the first aisle was this funny little candle. He was in the Christmas stuff. He's so cute. He is adorable. I know he's made by somebody because my aunt just got something similar. So I will add that information to the screen. 
but for a dollar, I had to grab him. He will go in my inventory for later this year. <laughs> I know, some of these do okay. They made these. Stan in 1947. They, they did these at like fairs and stuff. What's that one? Stan. I like the 1906 one. Those are so neat. Who's he? Alvin. That's not a chipmunk. <laughs> about little pumpkin, pumpkin duck? ducks. There's damage, but there's two of them. Is that a Duncan? <laughs> oh, there's two of them? <laughs> there's two Duncans. Just made in China. But it's green, so it's be green, so it'd be two bucks. These are kind of fun, these homemade, homemade goblets. these turkey plates. I did not expect that when I opened it. I thought they would be round. Look how cute they are. All right, let's look this one up. They had $2 on them. They are still in their box. They are all in perfect condition and they're made by Boston Warehouse, which I find a lot of Boston Warehouse stuff. They did a lot of like kitschy kitchen kind of things. Lots of like little ceramic spreaders, cheese spreaders and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, but these are called Harvest Turkey Plate Set Warren Kimball, made by Boston Warehouse. And what were they worth? 50 bucks? Somewhere between 40 and 50 bucks? Something like that. I got them for two. Sounds about right. <laughs> so I was thrilled when I looked those up to see that they were selling for that kind of money because for $2, that's awesome. Will definitely be an eBay sale probably later this year when people start to think about the holidays and make a quick, you know, 40 or 50 bucks. I love the shape of that. Some of these are older and some of them are newer. Some of them are repros. And this one definitely looks like a newer repro. But what a great dark blue looking, cool looking piece. This is cool looking. What's the pattern in that? And that's a whole canister set there. They're each three? Yeah. These are temptations. Yeah. Oh, we need to pull these out and investigate these a little bit further. Oh, look at this girl. She's funny. Made in China piece. Oh yeah, we gotta look at these. So there's three different sizes. They're all different? Yep. Condition looks great. Yeah. We have that one has like, this one doesn't have like the round base on the bottom like those do. So it's the same thing. Oh yeah, let's look these up. The reason that not all of them had this weird round base is because these are stackable canisters. You can see here in this photo that they stack on top of each other. So that's why they needed to have a lid on the bottom of some of them. So without the other two pieces, we passed on that set. Is this like a fused glass down here? Whoa, that is heavy. Yeah. Eight dollars. Oh, you didn't see this little girl? Oh, she's got a little chippy out of the front of her. She's adorable. Mermaids are a big, big seller. Oh, she's got a chip back here too. Oh, about a dollar. She's tempting for a dollar. These are kind of nice. F. 
All right, we're gonna rescue her for a dollar. Vintage mermaids are so big. Everything I've ever bought that was a mermaid has sold. Everything on eBay. So of course I will disclose the damage. Um, a little bit of paint in that same color would just make it, you know, look perfect because she's not broken. She's not, you know, cracked. So I love her. I think she's adorable. She is cute. And this is Dansk right here. But this has got a big chip right here. But yes, I saw it. Those are kind of cool. Okay, we gotta look these up. So when I came around that white end cap, mm -hmm. I saw all these things. I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I couldn't wait to get to certain things. <laughs> I just loved the way that these were formed. I mean, I looked yeah, down and I shape. saw this like cool shape and I was like, what are those? There's four of them down there. And then as soon as I flipped them up, I saw Starbucks. I'm like, well, that's gotta be okay. Starbucks coffee mugs usually do well. These are only little eight ounce, um, which to me is not, Eight ounces does not make a cup of coffee. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you if you do like espresso, espresso. yes, um, or maybe <laughs> some sort of tea, this would be perfect because these have these little great little tops on them, but they double as coasters or a little tea bag rest. So you can put your tea bag there when you make your tea. But they also fit, you know, right on top, and then you can keep it warm really cool and I love that they had four all in great condition um, they were filled a lot of them have these little tea lights in them they must have just been donated that way <laughs> there's probably a dozen tea lights between all of them but um, but they're so cute and I will show you on screen what I think they uh, will go for I'm not sure yet if I'll take them over to the booth because you know sometimes when eBay's like got a bunch of the same thing on it, you're not gonna sell it there, but somebody will see it at the booth and just like me, they'll say, I've never seen that before. Oh, there's four of them. And they'll have to have them. I have to have them. I have to have them, they're so cute. So that was a cool find. What is this? What is this beauty? That's very cool. That is very cool and I love the height on it pencil signed and they have five dollars on it is it five dollars cool for me it is is it five dollars cool for you <laughs> i guess that means you get it so even though she ran ahead of me all around the goodwill looking for pottery <laughs> <laughs> this beautiful piece was on that little end cap look at how pretty it's gorgeous it's, pretty. it's gorgeous it is a signed piece it's signed in pencil and do you know what that says? No. We don't know what it says. <laughs> but it is a signed piece. It's stunning. It's really cool because it's so tall. Mm -hmm. So when you're building a pottery collection, you like to have height and dimension. dimension. And so this will be a nice little sneak it in and give some dimension. <laughs> it was $5. And I kind of was like, ha ha, I found pottery. <laughs> but then I decided... I'll take that. She could have it. Oh, what is this? It's a mustard jar with a really pretty little paint job. Oh, I love this. 1735? No, I don't <laughs> believe that's the real date. That's whatever that was created, but for a dollar, heck yeah, we're gonna take that. Thought that this was like ceramic, but just as we were looking at this, I'm like, this is glass. This is probably like the date that it was you know, created this mustard. That's what it says, and it's got this beautiful design, but I love that it had its little spoon. And that does look like it has some age. Even though it's plastic? Yeah, it does look like an older plastic. I'm gonna guess it's vintage, but I don't really know yet. And of course, I will have done some research and will add information, but super cute. It's not from 1735. No, it's not. Oh, we're filling up a cart. What is this guy? This ugly cat. 
I got an ugly cat. He is a hobbyist piece. They want $4 for him. He's got, some, he's got a, crack a big in. crack in big him. Big crack over here. Yeah, somebody dropped side. him. Cute little monkey. What are these back here? They're little chair <laughs> face mugs. Those are adorable. Those might be good for Valentine's Day. There's three of them, but take the two best, make a little set. All right, so this is kind of a bummer. This is a lesson to be learned. You always check these over really carefully because there were three of these and I grabbed two. I've de I decided, you know, two would be a cute little set whether I do it on eBay or I do it at one of the booths, but we just noticed that this one is completely cracked. So I have a choice. I can go back and get the other one, <laughs> but for 50 cents, I don't know if I'm going to make that trip. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is just selling the one um, over in our coffee cup corner at the one booth. She's rushing me, people. She's rushing me. He's adorable. He's a little hobbyist piece too. He, he looks like he came with that other cat. I don't buy monkey pot anymore, but that's cool. And those are for card playing. Whole set with the spade and the club and the ace and the heart. Oh, remember having one of these? Yes. This one doesn't even work. This is kind of cool. Change separator, very fancy change separator. It's cool. It's up here. Oh, that's cute. There's a little wall plate. It says carrot, yeah, you can. Oh yeah, they're trivets and tomato. Those are adorable. Nobody can see them up there though. So we'll bring them, we'll bring them down here and then people can see them. That's gorgeous. That'll look good in any room. Yeah. It's got that very, very warm, pretty. Okay. How much are blankets? Let's see. Blankets are $3.99. It looks like somebody's cool cable net sweater with Not these. cable net. What did I say? Isn't it cable knit? Cable knit? Yeah. You've said cable nut. Cable, cable knit. net. Cable net. Cable knit. Okay. This looks like somebody's <laughs> really cool cable knit sweater. And look at the little design here with the balls. I absolutely love this. I think it's handmade. There's no sort of labeling. There's no sort of areas on it that look like a label came off. I do think that this is completely handmade. Um, it's gorgeous. It needs a good wash. But let's just hold it up so they can get a good look at the pattern. Casey. Yes. Okay. It's awesome. It's awesome. I think it'll be a quick sale. Um, probably at the booth. We sell, we do sell some blankets and um, quilts. quilts and afghans. I've sold all of those um, over at the, the booth. So probably get this washed up and then over there pretty quickly while it's still cold weather. Somebody's going to see this and want it for sure. What is it? It's a big piece of bamboo. What are they calling it? End table. End table. And chalk. And 
five dollars. Five dollars and then six dollars. Somebody put a thing on it. That's neat. It's warped, but that's pretty. Yeah. That's probably a hand done piece too. I don't have my loop. Oh, little bunny. I don't have my loop. I don't have my my light. He's cool. Antique furniture. <laughs> it's cleaned up. Somebody spilled something on there. Nice. Ooh, beautiful. This is what I love. So sometimes when somebody donates that, they've donated other reference books. So now you really gotta look. Yay! Always love to find good resource books. And this one is really cute. Great photos, good content, beautiful things. The best way to learn is just to look and read. And you can't do this online. You know, that's why I'm so excited about my growing library of resource materials. Because when I sit and go through a book like this, I'm looking at pieces that I can't just open up the internet and say, show me antique furniture I want to learn, you know. I'm sure I can get to sites and stuff, mm -hmm. that, but not like this, not put together in a way that you can really consume um, the information, you know, here. I don't know if I would ever see these and understand that that was a cooler, wine cooler or a bottle stand, you know, right. but because I have this book, now I know if I see something like that, it's not a planter, it's a, a wine cooler, you know, so that's cool. That's really cool. That's how you learn. So super happy to find this. They're paperbacks. They're paperbacks. Their paperbacks are a buck. I saw her run over. There was like right at the corner of where the shoes were. I, um, I almost elbowed the lady to get she to did. them over her head. She did. I mean, she, the lady was standing maybe a foot away from the end and she was like, you know, she's tall like me. So she had the reach. She was just like, whoop. But who wouldn't? Yeah, they're cool. They're brand new. Look at that. There's not any dirt on there. There's no wear. Brand okay. new. Yeah. $100 shoes. Are they? They're Spearies. Yeah, they're like 80 to 100 bucks. Really? I'm yeah. gonna get that fuzz off of there. Yeah. So they're Spearies, <laughs> they're top siders. Um, we'll put a value here for, you know, a comp or whatever. They're nice. I didn't really look at them up close, but mm -hmm. they're nice. And you were looking for Spearies. I needed a pair. She needed a pair. Why, did you have ones? I ruined you... my pair. Oh, how'd you ruin them? I spray painted in them. She spray painted and ruined her other Sperry's. So now she has a new pair of Sperry's. What did you pay for these? $4.99. That's awesome. And I think that was it. That was it. We hit that last side of the store with the shoes and the plush and the books and found a couple of good things. Good things. Good things. Shoes are always good things. Resource books are great things. Not better than shoes. <laughs> She has way too many <laughs> shoes. How many shoes do you have? I don't, know. I don't know. Could you guess? 50 pairs. I'm guessing that's like half of what she really has. I don't know. I don't know either. All right. So that was it. That was the trip. That was the haul. And we had a great time. We did. I'm so glad you came. Me too. Let's do it again next year. <laughs> no, <laughs> later this year. Okay, later this year. Maybe in the summer or sooner. Okay. She doesn't come down enough. <laughs> I get to missing her. <laughs> I mean, we did go through a pandemic, so we didn't see each other for uh, almost a year. Right. Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> we went through a pandemic only to end it getting COVID <laughs> at the end of 2021. <laughs> uh, I think everybody's in the same boat, though. There's so many people. Yeah. Stay safe out there. Yes. Seriously. Do all the things that you need to do to stay safe. All right, everybody. We really appreciate you. If you're still here at this time. We love you. We love you. Thank you very much. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, if you're still here and you have not yet subscribed, are you going to mock me the whole time? Yes. <laughs> Please do that. Join, uh, join us. 
hit that little subscribe button, click on the alarm and set it to all so you know when I put up a new video, which happens twice a week. Twice a week. <laughs> and then while you're clicking around on there, <laughs> hit a like or a dislike. I don't care. <laughs> Leave me a comment then down below. Tell me what we found that you love or just say hello. <laughs> and then the best thing you could do is share out the channel. <laughs> Tell a friend that you found a friend who likes to thrift and find bolos at uh, the Goodwill. And tell them to come over, subscribe, and join our little Yosa Boho oh, tribe. Wow. I appreciate you. I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Please take care. Bye-bye.